हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लास इन द प्रीवियस मॉड्यूल वी हैव लर्न अ फ्यू वन वर्ड्स विच आर यूज एज सब्सटीट्यूट्स इन प्लेस ऑफ अ ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स टूडे वी शैल लर्न अ फ्यू मोर वन वर्ड्स विच कैन बी यूज एज अ सब्सटीट्यूट टू रिप्लेस अ ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स सो Let's begin the class. Let us see the first group of words. One who does not believe in the existence of God or we can simply say atheist. An atheist does not believe in a god or divine being. Now let us see how to use the word atheist in a sentence please repeat after me being an atheist he never went to a religious place he openly declared himself to be an atheist Now let us see the next group of words the life history of a person written by himself or we can simply say autobiography an autobiography is a self written account of the life of one self it is different from a biography which is the life story of a person written by someone else now let us see how to use the word autobiography in a sentence please repeat after me i have recently read the autobiography of mahatma gandhi She has just written her autobiography. Now, let us see the next group of words. An absolute and unrestricted government by one. Or we can simply say autocracy. autocracy is a form of government in which the supreme political power is concentrated in the hands of one person now let us see how to use the word autocracy in a sentence please repeat after me democracy has proved much better than autocracy the revolution caused the overthrow of autocracy now let us see the next group of words one who is greedy for money or we can simply say avaricious An avaricious person is extremely greedy for wealth or material gain. Here the suggestion is that an avaricious person will do anything to achieve material gain. Now let us see how to use the word avaricious in a sentence. Please repeat after me. She turned out to be a crafty and avaricious politician. The press lined up like avaricious lions outside the court.
Now, let us see the next group of words. One who is a great lover of books. Or we can simply say bibliophile. A bibliophile is someone who loves to collect, read and admire books. Now, let us see how to use the word bibliophile in a sentence. Please repeat after me. Only a bibliophile can have such a huge stock of books from various fields. A bibliophile can be the most suitable person for the job of a librarian in a public library. Now, let us see the next group of words. Having two husbands or two wives at the same time. Or, we can simply say bigamy. Bigamy is an act of entering into a marriage with one person while still legally married to another. Now, let us see how to use the word bigamy in a sentence. Please repeat after me. Bigamy is considered as a crime in many countries of the world. There is a provision of five years of imprisonment for bigamy. Now, let us see the next expression. One who has narrow and prejudiced religious views. Or, we can simply say bigot. Bigot is someone who is utterly intolerant of any differing creed, belief or opinion. Now, let us see how to use the word bigot in a sentence. Please repeat after me. Over the years, the believers suffered at the hands of the bigots. Ravi is considered as bigot in his friend circle. Now, let's see the next expression. A person who speaks two languages or we can simply say bilingual. A bilingual person is able to speak two languages fluently. Now, let us see how to use the word bilingual in a sentence. Please repeat after me. Only bilingual persons will be considered for the post of translator. They wanted to launch a bilingual newspaper. Now, let us see the next group of words. Study of plants and trees or we can simply say botany. Botany is a branch of biology that deals with the study of plants including their structure, properties and biochemical processes. Now, let us see 
how to use the word botany in a sentence please repeat after me you can get information about the life of plants in the book of botany he studied botany at university that's all for today in the next module we shall learn some more one words which can be used as substitutes thank you